What little things does your so do that makes you feel cared for and loved? My husband helps put me to bed every night, gets my water, tucks me in, plugs my phone in, etc. It started with my first pregnancy and never stopped. I just posted this as well. He did it before I got pregnant, but now that I'm pregnant he does even more. He knows my main love language is acts of service. I'm currently 37 weeks into my second pregnancy, and I'm miserable, but my so has been doing things like this for me every night, as well as putting my socks shoes on for me which is even a huge struggle for him, when it comes to getting these compression socks on over my swollen ankles, helping me with all the chores around the house, carrying everything for me, usually, I'm the one, that tries to take care of everyone else, and instead of asking for help I'll just do it myself. With this pregnancy, however, I don't think I could get by without all the little things my so has been doing for me. Even getting out of the bed chair is a real struggle, if he's not there, to pull me up lol. My boyfriend does the same, I'm not pregnant just lazy f. Sharing pictures. Whenever he sends me a picture or a video of whatever he's doing, I get so happy. It makes me feel like I'm part of his life, especially as we're LDR. Or whenever he wants to show me something he's done, or is working on, it's the cutest thing. Whenever he tells me goodnight as I go to bed, as I tend to head off earlier than him, it leaves me feeling really warm. I always try to do the same for him, during mornings I get up earlier. It'd make me really happy, if it could give him even a small boost of energy for the day. When he asks me questions about whatever I'm talking about because he wants to understand. Especially when it comes to things I'm passionate about. Always makes me smile a lot. Hearing him talk about his interests and passions. He can go on and on about his interests and hobbies. And having him be comfortable enough around me to ramble about it makes me really happy. Listen and discuss with me like a human being. I live in a family where I don't get to talk to people except my siblings. Even so I never get to say everything since I feel judged based on family background. Trying to talk with my father, I always get put down somehow whether you need to go sleep or he forces his opinion into you. My mother, she's sadly mentally sick, so she can't really process stuff without a severe headache. But with my boyfriend, man, I talk a lot. He always replies, even though I can talk for 15 minutes straight, he hugs me a lot. I trust him with everything even with a secret no one knows, since I was around 8. I love him, I hope he stays, I enjoy how peaceful he is, even though I have anger issues, even though I scream at him a lot. He's my best friend, I adore him, I love him. I'm so blessed to have this sweet human being around me all the time. He makes me want to write books about all the sweet and hilarious things he's done. He lets me sleep on the cool side of the bed bless, likes to tie my shoes, always lights the barn doobie for me, always leaves me the bigger piece of food, but sometimes I let him have it cause, equality, likes to surprise me with little things when he can, keeps our inside jokes running forever we sometimes say the same thing at the same time and I always get so happy. And like excited and flustered, cause all I think is a ww we are on the same wavelength has so cute ah. Uh. And he always says jinx. So far I think we are even on the sodas, but at one point I owed him like four. It's just very nice I wouldn't trade my future husband for anything. I'm just gushing about him at this point I forgot the question lol. I probably have depression and don't feel many emotions often, I also have kind of a bad memory when it comes to questions like this, but every day my husband is sure to tell me that I'm beautiful, even when I haven't brushed my hair, or am in the middle of a big acne breakout, or both. When I'm in pain or sick he asks what he can do for me, even though I usually don't know, have anything to suggest. He helps me put lotion on my hands when my eczema gets bad and puts my ring back on like when we got married. And now that I'm pregnant he helps me put on my socks and shoes and steadies me in the shower when we take them together. He always tells me he wishes I would do art again because he liked seeing my work. And even at my most robotic I know I love him because I will cry like I'm right now typing this. He is too good. When we had a tornado warning a few years ago, I grabbed my parents' mom's urn with ashes, dad's casket flag off the mantle, to go into our safe room. He put them back after the all clear without me even saying anything.
Putting stuff back after a tornado warning is so incredibly specific, and it brought back memories I haven't thought of since it happened years ago. I was usually the oldest of my siblings at home, and whenever there was a warning I would gather all the blankets and pillows into the basement and make a fort behind the couch and herd my siblings into the fort with their most precious belongings, so they'd all be safe. I would spend a lot of time putting everything back and didn't really like doing it, but did it every time anyway. Your BF putting things away without saying anything is so protective and previous. Took a picture of me and his cat napping on the couch and posted it on Facebook. I know it's silly, but I worry that he doesn't like to show people we are together. So it makes me happy when he does. I hate when couples seem to force that or post it a lot, but every few months makes me feel fuzzy. Brings me my favorite snack when he goes to the store. Even though my favorite snack changes every few weeks. Always has me walk on the inside of the sidewalk. Holds my hand or pets my head while I'm falling asleep. Pretends to laugh at my puns. Always has me walk on the inside of the sidewalk that's some old school gentleman stuff. Tell him well played for me. The sidewalk one I always make sure happens. It's safer and where would I be without her? It's really small, but she listens to me and makes an effort she always says she loves me before we fall asleep even in text. I mentioned it once about how it bugged me that she didn't always say she loved me too, or reply to my goodnight texts. Yes I'm weird, but that is a small thing that is really important to me. Since I mentioned it, she always does without fail, sometimes several times, if she wakes up during the night. I know it isn't a huge deal to her, but it is now, because she knows that it is to me, if that makes sense. That and she always remembers something that I've mentioned or talked about during the previous day. As someone who can listen to people talk all day happily it means a lot to have someone who actually listens to me, even if I'm talking about something nerdy or lame. He texts me out of the blue to ask how my day is going. He never forgets the morning game, even if he has overslept it's private, funny to us, and adult. If he stops for something, he asks if I want something too. He doesn't leave without kissing me goodbye, and he comes to kiss me a couple of times a day, when he's caught up in his hobby woodworking. It's a million little things, that make no difference to anyone else, but mean the world to me. She makes me feel like they're the greatest everything in the world, while reminding me to try to be better. She helps me remember those thousand things I'd forget, before leaving for work. She's as much a jeek, if not more than me, and she never makes me feel bad for being a dork. I also, too love the morning game. We are in a long distance relationship, we met on the PS4 playing Overwatch. Every night we fall asleep in a party with our headsets on haha. We have been together for 2 years. That's so cute. Me and my so met on Overwatch 2, but we've only been together a couple months so far. Sweet. Me and my BF live in different cities during the summer, so we play some game together every day. Right now it's Divinity Original Sin 2, but sometimes we play Borderlands 2 with his friend. We actually watched E3 together today using Discord and Twitch. Gonna pick up BL3 when it comes out in September? Probably, depends how broke I am, but definitely gonna get it as soon as possible. Text me, like it all. In an LDR knowing they are thinking about you is a wonderful feeling. It can sometimes be hard to show your love in different ways in a RLDR, since you're fairly limited, but it's good to appreciate the little things that sometimes get overlooked. Or when they send pics of what they are proud of doing is my favorite. They just experienced something really uplifting to them and thought about sharing it with me. Ugh so heartwarming. Almost thought LDR meant lay down and rot instead of long distance relationship for a second there. I know what you mean. It's beautiful when someone is thousands of miles away and still your special person. It's a sad kind of beautiful. Whenever we're watching TV or a movie, or we're out and about and something funny happens, he always laughs and looks at me to see if I'm laughing too. I don't know why, but I think it's so sweet. Has been doing it for 3 years now, and I hope he does it forever. There's a reason for this in terms of human psychology. If you're in a group of people, something funny happens, and everyone laughs, the person you instinctively look at to see if they're laughing, is the person you like the most. 
it doesn't necessarily mean romantically, but it's still the person you like the most. So if your boyfriend looks at you, whenever the two of you laugh, he must care about you a lot. He usually screams when he sleeps, and it's scary. When that happens, I try to wake him up, and even though he doesn't wake up, he hugs me, kisses me and says sorry for scaring me, and other things I don't get, because it's a sleepwalker nonsense. My partner literally just woke me up from a night terror scrolling through social media helps to erase the images. I do wake up, but it takes a lot of soothing because I scream and cry out of control. He brought me some water and turned the light on for me. I'm so grateful for him. He immediately goes back to sleep when I calm down, but I always make sure to thank him the next day when he's more awake. My boyfriend's patience is unmatched. I lost two of my siblings on separate occasions last year, and it has made me more irritable and emotional of a person I was plenty emotional before already. He sits and helps me through my panic attacks. When I get frustrated and rude, has gentle and understanding with me. My whole life any negative emotion I expressed was met with yelling and anger from my parents. He has no idea how much his sweetness helps me to feel like the pain is worth going through to keep moving forward. Nothing in this world is better than waking up from a terrible nightmare or coming to bed from a terrible day and having his arms right there to fall back asleep in. Very specifically, any time we're driving 30 plus minutes anywhere, if she's just casually phone scrolling or whatever, she'll reach her left arm up and just rub the back of my hair as I drive. We usually don't even talk, but just the soft scratching renders me so immediately and instantly at ease. At first I imagined your so was extremely flexible, and then I remembered that Americans drive on the left. Ha ha ha. I literally just woke up, and this was a nice chuckle to start the day. Just like the rest of the world. Tucker Carlson would like a word. You mean right side as in correct JK.